Joining us live to discuss the fallout is our political correspondent, Aisha Alpha. Thanks for having me. Aisha, why is Parliament Hill facing the kind of reckoning we saw in a post-Me Too Hollywood? Well, as the saying goes, politics is show business for ugly people <laughs> who also sexually harass their staff. Is there a particular reason this is happening on the Hill now? Me Too has emboldened women everywhere to finally confront the men who abuse their power. But since we don't have a Hollywood studio system, most of Canada's ambitious sociopaths are found in the federal government. Hey, some of them end up in the RCMP. Oh, sorry, you said ambitious. Mm -hmm. But Ottawa and Hollywood couldn't be any less alike. Well, sure, the after parties are less glamorous, but what Patrick Brown lacks in James Franco's bone structure, he makes up for with James Franco's attitudes towards women. I see your point. If Harvey Weinstein was Canadian, he'd top out as a disgraced fisheries minister or something. Have any tangible measures been taken to address the rampant sexism in the House of Commons? Sort of. Trudeau is taking the can't hair allegation seriously enough to kick him out of cabinet. But not seriously enough to boot him from caucus. Well, he has to make considerations on a case-by-case -case basis. It's the same case. Well, Amazon forced their studio head out for harassment, but that won't stop them from distributing Woody Allen movies. Also, caucus has a different set of rules since it already sounds like a dick joke. <laughs> So what can the government do to prevent predatory behavior moving forward? There have been calls for a number of high-profile female MPs to bring the Times Up initiative to Ottawa. But the motion got bogged down in committee and then tabled until 2019. So I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Aisha Alpha, everyone. The Beaverton. All-new episode Wednesday on Comedy.